Hey guys, what's up? This is the Bo. How y'all doing? Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your families today. I'm going to do the same, but uh, this morning I'm going to uh, just take a little walk around the garden, uh, show you uh, how everything's going dormant and what's still kicking it. Um, you can hear Ike in the back crowing over there. I'm going to go and feed Ike and his girls in a minute and just take a little walk around the garden and um, just uh, show you what's up. Let me get my stick. This is my bamboo stick. I keep this stick now because Ike is out of control now. You know, every time I turn my back, he tries to uh, run up on me. So, let me, let me go get his food prepared. How y'all doing out there? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, doing your thing and uh, just, you know, Keeping up, staying healthy. Leave that there. Yeah, I hope you're having a have a wonderful day with your families today. You know what all that what they say, uh, don't eat too much. Don't pay attention to that, man. Eat all you want. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to eat all I want. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go and fill up their, uh, well, not fill it up, but, you know, put it in there until the last week or so. So, you know, I don't know, for, for those of you who have chickens, right? I know some of you uh, have your chickens and you have them in runs and whatnot. And, and you know, mine's have a run too. Um, however, uh, they do have a big area where I don't keep the run closed. So they come out and free range around. So what's going on is a few of my chickens, well, one in particular, um, Eleanor, she is not laying her eggs right inside the uh the coop so but i know where she lays them and so she's what she's doing is she's climbing up on all these logs that i have uh stacked up and there's a there's a crease in between there so she's going in there and she started laying her eggs in that little pocket between the the logs um, which go down to the ground so what I did is I just threw a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of uh, uh, wood chips and stuff like that down there so at least it'll be cushiony so because she's you know she's laying them down there anyway so I thought I'd do that and I noticed I came out again this morning and there you go there's another egg in there so I'm gonna go retrieve that in a few and then, uh, while I'm on the subject, Beyonce, she just refuses, refuses to lay her eggs in the chicken uh, nest boxes. 
So she's just laying them right on the coop and the, on the floor. And what happens from time to time, they get it, you know, they, when they jump down or whatever, they're getting broke. So getting a little upset with, with Beyonce um, doing that. So I have to, I don't know what I can do, you know, get her to go in her nest box and, and lay her eggs. Um, There's Sir Ike right there. See him walking sideways there? He starts, he starts walking sideways, stomping like he's uh doing like he's doing stomp yard or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> like he's doing stomp yard. So I got this stick, so I don't hit him hard, you know what I mean? But I do, you know, give him a little whack because, you know. Got to teach him who's boss, right? So this is what I have to do now. Let me see if I can get this a little closer over here. So I have to go up un into these logs now. Probably get bit by a snake just to get an egg, you know what I mean? <laughs> and this egg right here, right? It's getting a little bit bigger. It's getting a little bit bigger. It's still not the full size of uh, the rest of the chickens' eggs. This egg is from Eleanor, and she started laying. She started laying about four days ago, and so the eggs are coming out real small at the moment. But they're getting a little bit bigger. Even though I've noticed, right? Even when these eggs are small, and you think, and you think, wow, what a small little egg, you know what I mean? But when you crack it to go eat it, the egg is almost is inside the. The yolk, the the yolk and the um and the whites in there, you know it's 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 a good size it's a good size uh, meal out of this egg, so they're never too small, baby. <laughs> now that one that you see right there, she's a good girl. That's Lana, and Lana always goes in that same box. That's her box right there. She always lays her egg inside that box. So we're going to go ahead and leave her alone right now. She'll come out later on, and I'll come back later on and get her egg. And um, I had some, I had, I already uh, harvested some of the other eggs also. But Beyonce, like I said, she lays her eggs on the ground. And this morning her egg was broke, so I lost out on her egg. Well, that means uh, Dr. Ricky's not going to eat this morning. He's not going to have any eggs for breakfast this morning because uh, his hand, Beyonce, egg got broke. So he don't, he don't, he don't eat today. I'm not sharing my egg. Ike is on a tear this morning. I mean, his crowing is just off the chain this morning. 
I don't know. I don't know in the far distance, right? If you can hear another rooster, uh, uh, a few houses down, several. You know, there's a lot of people around here that have chickens in my neighborhood. But if you could just barely, if just now, a rooster crowed. See if he does it. Well, that's my rooster right there. Loud, loud mouth fight. You hear that? That's the other rooster down from the from down the street. They they'll be going back and forth. You know what I mean? Like uh, like they're trying to see who crows the loudest. Hey, I, I, I'm uh, uh, who am I talking to right now? Um, that farmer seventy three. If you can, if you uh, watch this video. I seen your little white rooster there crone 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 his uh, lungs out. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have a battle, man. We're gonna have a battle. To see who's whose rooster crows the loudest or, or holds or holds their beat the longest. All right, so that's a challenge, man. I have with me and you on our rooster or whoever else wants to jump in. I think I could take all you all down. So you can see the, the, the chickens are um, all underneath here, underneath all these trees and all that, that they have down here and there, back there, barreling in and doing their uh, dust baths and stuff back there. And they come back here to chill out, relax in this beautiful shaded area. You want some of that? You want some of Ike, baby? <laughs> All right, let me kind of show you around here. This right, this tree right here that you're looking at. All my trees have dropped all their leaves off now. But these are all young trees that I have just planted this year. Um, since this is a new location that I moved to, um, new property that I have. So most of you have been with me for a while. I've seen me um, doing my builds and stuff like that, building the chicken coop, building the fence, um, uh, you know, dragging stuff around and creating my food forest. So I have a lot of young trees now that I'm, you know, trying to get to get uh, to some size on my property. So anyway, uh, that's, you know, that's what's happening now. So this one right here is a dwarf pear. This is a dwarf pear right here. So we'll be feeding him nicely and getting that, uh, that tree to, uh, you know, to get big quick, hopefully. And right here, this this tree right here is my olive, agabina, agabina olive. And uh, you all see me move this tree here from the front of my house to the back into the food forest. And so I have her right there. Coming over here, we have the, the moon glow. Moon globe here. I've had this tree for two years. I brought this tree with me from my other property and relocated her right here to this spot. Hopefully, now that she'll be um, in its permanent spot, she can start growing, growing, and start producing some fruit. <laughs> Over here, we have a Santa Rosa plum. Just purchased this plum tree earlier uh, this year and so she's over here and I have another burgundy plum just down about 50 feet so you know we can get some cross-pollination between these two these two plums and uh, I can get me some plums baby 
All right. Let me just show you here real quick. I don't know if you can see those little, these little things here. Those are rows of Sharon clippings that I took off, cuttings, and um, so those will start rooting for me. Uh, they're already, you know, the rows of Sharon's. I mean, you just can't miss, you know, when we get a rose of Sharon cut. You just take a cut and stick it in the ground, and, you know, that's guaranteed to root. So those are spread throughout the property, and I'm going to use those. Um, rose of Sharon's, they're great pollinators. I mean, the, the, the flowers on there, they attract so many bees. So I'm going to plant those strategically around the property, around the fruit trees and whatnot, to draw, you know, the bees there to help with the pollination. And over here, uh, I don't know if the sun's blaring there. If it does, I might have to cut it out. But these are all pomegranates. Got some pomegranates. I was able to, to get a few pomegranates. I mean, these trees are all young. But I was able to, uh, to harvest a handful of pomegranates this year out of them. And, uh, you know... Every year for all now, it'll just get better and better. So the pomegranates are on track, baby. And over here, we this is a gala apple. Small little gala apple right there. And I have... This is a brown turkey fig right here. I mean, I have, I have 10, 15 fig trees all throughout the property and um, just love my figs. As you can see down there, bottom there, I have all, see, row, 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 going right underneath the canopy that I just built, the, the arbor, but, um, and underneath this arbor, I have I have uh, kiwi plants. I have kiwi plant right there. I have another kiwi plant right there. Let's go up the bamboo and then, you know, get this get this arbor wrapped up. Then I have another kiwi plant that I brought from my other property that I put on this tree right here. And as you can see, it's growing up growing up the tree right there, and then it'll eventually wrap up around that tree up there and as I was saying and then I go continue on with all the comfrey that I got growing now this comfrey right that I have growing here I got one little teeny piece that was sent to me from Miss Granny B she sent that to me uh, like two years ago a year and a half ago she sent me uh, that one little teeny piece. Now I have about 30 plants all over the property from that one little little comfrey plant. So, and you know how beneficial comfrey is. So, get yourself some comfrey. Then right there, I got my beds there. That's my that's my uh, small ginger bed. And what I'm doing is I'm overwintering the ginger. Right there, I got it nice and covered up with some wood chips. So come spring, I'll remove the wood chips and um, let the ginger start doing its thing. You know, ginger takes a long time to get going in the spring, but when it does, it get, grows good. Then the next bit over is the, is the asparagus. Over there, I got all my wood chip, uh, uh, all my wood logs all chopped up. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> All kinds of uh, uh, logs there so that I can do my, you know, I'm pyro, baby. I love to burn, so I'll be burning log. I bur I'm always out here burning. I just love, love watching a fire pit burning. Then right down there in the bottom there, I got that, did this, uh, um, what do you call that, octagon type thing around this tree here 
and I have some some different types of uh, plants growing there so just to give it a little bit of uh, beauty to the garden then over here I got my pear tree that's my pear tree over there there's another uh, what's that that's uh, uh, I'll tell you in a sec I'm losing it and this is my row right there of all my um, blueberries going over here we got some raspberries got it all nice there and and then moving on down over here we have the blackberries more raspberries have the cherry tree right here Let's see we go around here because this sun's blaring right now yeah got the cherry tree here got an orange tree growing inside that big pot this stump that you see right here right that was one of my trees that fell down that storm that uh, came through Georgia not too long ago and I left this big hole here when I um, I dug it out, dug it out there. So I got this big hole there. So I'm I'm thinking about maybe putting a little small koi pond there. I'm not sure yet, or I might uh, just fill it back up. This is a Fuju persimmon tree right here. And an apple. And over there, that's gonna, that's uh, having my uh, grape. Grapes will be growing up right up over there once uh, spring comes back around. And then over here is uh, a spalier apple that's grown right there. And there's also some blackberries that are entwined there. Then over here, I have a, I, you know, I managed to get a few um, Chinese uh, cabbages that are growing down there. It's a beautiful day today. I mean, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous out here. It rained last night. I had a whole bunch of ash that I had there that I was gonna um, put in I put in buckets there to save it, but uh, the rains beat me to it. I was lazy, and I you know I was there for a few days, and I knew I was taking a chance, but so that's all right. This is, and then over here we got uh, all the way down there. That's uh, Fig Lane there. That down there is a uh, rhubarb. That's a rhubarb plant. Right behind it, we have my loquat. It's my loquat tree. A few small banana trees. Got the peach tree in the back there. So, and you know, this, this, I mean, I've only been over here, what, uh, just turned one year at this, uh, this property, a little bit over a year, and um, I just stayed on it, just busy, 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 planted stuff, doing this, doing that, that and, um, you know, looks like I've been here for a while now, right, <laughs> with uh, all that I have done, and this tree right here, this is... This tree right here is in honor of my mom that passed away several years back. So I call this tree here, it's a, it's a plum tree. It's a dwarf plum tree, and I call that tree Mommy.
That's mommy right there. Over here, these guys right there, these are all cuttings from the mother plant over there. And in the back, I got some more cuttings. And those are juju berries. It's juju berries. And then I have a, this, that area right there. That's kind of like my um, my herb garden there. Got the rosemaries, the lemon balms, uh, the uh, garlic, and um, I forget, man. I have these uh, mental blocks for a moment. I forget what. I forget the names of things, but I know what it is, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't tell you right now, man. I just lost it. All right, we're going over here now, and this is my Persian lime. I was able to get about, I was happy, you know what I mean? I planted that um, last year, went it over the winter, and um, everything's fine. Copacetic. So, um... You know, put out, put out some, you know, got some nice limes on there, right? Yeah, got some more down here. Big fat limes, man. Look at that. Okay. All right, so, you know, this is uh, Georgia, Zone 7A, and I overwintered my uh, citrus trees there and uh, didn't do nothing. I mean, I, I will, you know, I will come over and throw a blanket on them if, um, you know, I notice that we're going to have some severe uh, frost or anything like that. I will come out and throw a blanket over them, but I didn't last year, and it snowed, and um, snowed on them, and I just came out afterwards, and I just shook the plants, got the snow off them, and, um, you know, everything's fine. So I didn't, um, you know, I got tired. I used to have these uh, lemon trees there. In, in my garage, and I'd be logging them in and out. And it's just too much work, too much work. I mean, um, if that's what you have to do, then, you know, you go ahead and do it, you know what I mean? Um, keep your tree, you know, if that's what you think you need to do for your tree, depending on where you're at. So, you know, you do what, you do what works for you um, to keep your, you know, to keep your plants. For me, I just, you know, I just said I'm, I'm not lugging them in and out no more so they're gonna survive out in the garden and if i have to do something to protect them then i will out here but um everything's been uh it's been good let me um show you over here this is my other i have um let's see one two three f three maybe and i have a couple uh young little small um myers lemons and so, um, so I have about, I have about six or seven all together, but some of them are like real, real small. But, uh, I have two of them that put out a lot, you know, quite a few lemons and the tree is very young. So next year I, um, I anticipate this lemon tree is just going to, um, shine. And I, I, I just want to say thank you, Led Farmer 73 on that for all the information that I got off of him, off the limes and whatnot, because, um. I never grew limes until like two years ago, which I started with these ones here, and um, just so happy because, I mean, it's, uh, um, if anything else on your property fails, you know, your Myers lemons, them, them are like, uh, they, they, they're amazing, you know what I mean, and they, they, they put out so much, and you look at your plant, and you say, whoa, man, look at, look at all these lemons I got, so... Anyway, let me turn this around here. And as you can see here, right? This tree's young, right? But still, but still, right? Look, see, I still, I still have, I still have, you know, a lot of lemons. And they're, I mean, you know, these, these, these are big lemons. These ain't, these ain't little now, by no means. These are big lemons. Look at this, man. 
See this lemon right here? This lemon right here is as big as an orange, man. This is as big as, as, big as an orange. Bigger than some oranges. Look at these things. And as you can see, they're, they're getting real close. They're getting real close for me to do some harvesting. Now, I promised my boy, Let Farmer 73, that I was going to make a video of me um, doing some, um, some lemon pie. So I'm getting close. It ain't going to be this year because I don't have enough lemons, right? But, um, I mean, I could, you know what I mean? Because I have enough to do a little bit, right? But next year I'll have a lot of lemons and I'm going to do a, do a lemon pie video. All right. So over here, this, this was my, um, my garden air, my garden beds. And I pulled out mostly everything there. Um, I did put some letters over here. I have some letters grown right here. Got a lot of pine needles in between them. But, um, yeah, I can make a salad right there. And all these, this right here, that's my strawberry bed. I have another strawberry tower upstairs, but this is my uh, strawberry bed. And as you can see, these, all these strawberries here come from, from runners. From runners down from... Um, my ministry church ministry garden i put them over here in this bed there so now i got me a full bed of strawberries growing from up from runners that i uh pulled from the ministry garden so anyways this video has gone way way too long and um anyway y'all take care happy thanksgiving much love from the boat